Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. Things are hotting up on The Masked Singer. Last night we had a one night only uh, performance from Poodle who came and sang two songs. Poodle. Poodle. Oh. So came and sang two songs and we had to guess who it was. None of us got it. Abby Chatfield nearly got it. But it was a huge name. Have a listen. It's a good voice. We've got a slow one. I really thought it was Katy Perry because one of the major sponsors of Mars Singer Jeez. is Menulog. And I thought, I've I bloody got this. They've roped get? her in for a promotional one night only. So you guess Katie? I guess Katie. And what did Abby guess? And it could have been Katie hiding her voice. Yeah. And the poodle made sense. But it wasn't Katie Perry. It was the great Tory Spelling. What? Yes. She brings back great memories. Absolutely. Oh, I couldn't believe my eyes. Wow. Hills Tory Spelling as I live and breathe. I think, for me personally, you know, I've watched every Masked Singer yeah. the last four seasons, and I've been on this one. That's the biggest name. Really? To me, yeah. To me, I was like, did that just happen? What was the character's name again? Poodle. Oh, oh on no, the show. No, no, on the show. Um, no. Oh, Damn it. She went out with Brenda? Mark. No, Donna. no, no. Donna. Donna. It was Donna. It was Donna. Yes. Yeah. It was Donna, was and she was a fixture at the Peach Pit. Mate, always down at the Peach Pit. Always. Which would be fun as hell in real life. She seems fun, yeah. And she okay. she also ended up on a huge reality franchise called Tori and Dean. Didn't you watch that, Jack? I did. I, I saw bits of Tori and Dean. That's how I was introduced to her. She's a really her. nice girl, she isn't is, she? Yeah. yeah, she's got 7,000 kids. And then Dean did the dirty on her. And Dean she, the dog. Uh, and she still rose. Really? Uh, so there you go. Cool. Tori Spelling. Spelling. We're in the finals week. I think there's only three left now. Sunday night grand finale. Sunday night grand what? finale. I have a big boo hoo. Good morning. Nova. Chrissy Swan. Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity star. Sylvester Stallone news, guys. Our favourite sort. Oh, yeah. Him and his wife Jennifer Flavin have filed for divorce. No way. After 25 years. Oh, that was That's a long time. And do you know it is a long Still time? A success. Mm. Absolutely a success. Mm. Three years is a success. One year. No, End of the honeymoon. <laughs> anyway, guess what was the straw that broke the camel's back? Yeah? A fight over a dog. Oh. And it is often that thing. It's often that sort of innocuous situation where you go, oh, actually, we're on different paths now. Well, Stallone well. wanted the dog, mm. whose name is Dwight, for protection for their family. He was a Rottweiler. But Flavin wasn't on board, and uh, she didn't want to add another dog to the family. That's not the reason, by the way. What, what, don't you think so? Well, that's the reason they're saying, but obviously something as trivial as that is symptomatic of much larger issues. Ah. Hey, an extremely heated argument brought up many other issues in their marriage, although it didn't appear to be a marriage ender at the time. Of course, it is now. They say Flavin has said in uh, court documents that their union is irretrievably broken, and Stallone has said... <laughs> You'll be right, Rock. Translation of that is I love my family. We are amicably and privately addressing these personal issues. All good, Rock. Sometimes it just takes, you know, the most innocuous thing, huh? Well, any of Rock, he's going to come home with a cavoodle. Like, honestly, it's going to destroy his reputation. Mm. That'd be so off-brand. Maybe Jennifer Flavin didn't want to clean up a Rottweiler-sized poo. Maybe Flavin's lucky to be married to Sylvester Stallone. Maybe Sylvester Stallone's lucky to be married to Flavin. Isn't that right, Rock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All good, champ. <laughs> Plenty of fish out there, mate. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. Last night, my favourite mask of the season... Uh, was revealed. In terms of identity, of course, obviously my favourite performer is Snapdragon. Um, but last night, it was one night only. Poodle came, sang two songs and was revealed in the one episode. Short and sharp and it was Tori Spelling. To see her there, she looks exactly like she did when she was Donna at the Peach Pit. 
Beverly Hills, no. Beverly Hills, on a two one zero. What are yours, John? One of yours. One, of yours. one of, sorry, one of mine. Was yeah. it one of yours or Melrose Place? I was in Melrose Place, yeah. Because they were all Aaron Spelling productions. That's right. All of those ones. Anyway, uh, it was great. She has a great voice. I was surprised. Yes, Brownie. This is a great song, by the way. Keen. Dawn yes. French, is it? Uh, I don't know uh, what she said. Does um, they seem to alter their voices? Yes. How do they Mel do? B was certain it was Emma Bunton, and I can hear that too. I can hear that it could have been Baby mm. Spice. Anyway, I thought it was Katy Perry because I thought they'd done a sweet, sweet deal for cash with Menu Log, but I was wrong. Well, Chrissy, Sam and Brown, every for sure will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brown, every. Unless it's a weekend. Channel 100.